hello everybody welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm sharing with you a meat pie filling recipe let's begin to a pan i add one tablespoon of oil i let that heat for a short while then i add sliced onion to the pan if this is the first time you're coming across one of my videos my name is joke i create cooking videos i try to make them as healthy as possible then I add sliced garlic. Here I have three cloves of garlic and grated ginger, about a thumb size of ginger here. Check the description box below for the full ingredient list and quantity used. I stirred them all together. Then I added the diced carrots. I stirred for a little bit and then I added the diced potatoes. So I said earlier that I try to cook my food as healthily as possible. I saw this video on Food Aces channel where she used a lot of potatoes and that's to eliminate the use of flour. Potato is lower in calories. So I went on to add my one kilogram of minced beef. This is where the hard work begins. You need your elbow grease because that is a lot of minced beef that needs to be stirred into the potato and carrots and everything. So you keep stirring and you stir and you stir. While you're watching me stir the mince, please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe if you're yet to. I went ahead and added the seasoning. I used curry powder, thyme, I put ground chili, and then I used all purple seasoning powder. Now, this is where you adjust to your own taste. Use whatever seasoning profile you like. I stir continuously for several minutes to make sure the minced meat is fully incorporated into the potatoes and the carrots. Before I add some water, I add a cup of water and I cover the pan and let it simmer on low heat for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I add some diced yellow pepper just for color. Then I added some grated potato. This is just a shortcut so that I don't have to stir too hard to break the diced potatoes. I stir thoroughly to combine and then I put the lid back on and let it simmer on low heat for a final 10 minutes. After 20 minutes, it's ready. But what I did is to stir continuously and continuously until I'm able to break as much of the potatoes as possible. This is because we want it to thicken properly and you don't need to add any flour. I hope you enjoyed watching this video today and a big thank you to Food Ace for the inspiration behind this video today. It's been a while since you've seen me in the kitchen so I thought to bring you this video seeing as we are in picnic season. I hope to see you in my next video where I share my meat pie video with you. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you are inspired to replace the flour in your meat pie filling with potatoes and look at how thick this mixture look. Give it a try and please let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to click the like button and remember to subscribe. I'll see you next time.